friends. Today you will need a pencil for your warm up. So hold it like you usually would. So I'm guessing for you that will probably mean that your pointer and your thumb are ready to drive your writing and one of your next fingers along will be acting as the resting finger giving your pencil somewhere to sit. Once you've got a hold of that pencil we're going to do some caterpillar walks. So you push the pencil away and inch your fingers towards the end of your pencil and then caterpillar back. Go and try again. Send it away and bring it back. Do that a couple of times and then for a laugh try it on your non-preferred side. I feel like my hands end up looking like a spider not so much like a caterpillar. That's it. Now before we move on to our writing, just check that you are sitting at your desk, you have your sharp pencil ready, and a new page in your book. This week we're going to keep concentrating on our anti-clockwise pointy oval shape by focusing on how to efficiently write a lowercase g and q. Just like last week, we're looking for about half a page of neat handwriting letters, using the lines to stay a consistent size, and really focus today on making sure that your pencil is moving the same direction as the one on the screen. The pattern that we're going to begin with today is the at symbol. And you would have seen this used all the time in emails. So I'm using the dotted lines. I'm going to start not quite in the center of where I plan my symbol to be, but at the top. I go around, back up, down to make the letter A. Then in an anti-clockwise direction, I draw a circle around my letter A. I leave a space and then I go again around up and down and around again for the at symbol leave a space around up and down and keep going around for the at symbol I don't lift my pencil until I've finished making the circle on the outside. Keep going with the rest of the row yourself. Let's do a quick bit of revision before we move on with our letters. I've been talking lots about anti-clockwise letters. So here's a picture of my clock to help us understand what that is. When the hands move around the clock, they go in this direction. And we call that clockwise. They're rotating to the right. We're doing anti-clockwise letters. So that's this direction, the opposite to what the clock does. So when you're writing your letters today, check in and make sure that the direction your pencil is moving in is towards the left. Let's think back to the slightly pointy oval that we did last week. Now I'm st not starting right at the top. I'm starting a little bit over to the side. From there, let me 
choose a different color for you. From there, I'm going around, up to the beginning, and back down to make my letter A. And we built on with that, around, right up to the next line above it, and down to draw out our letter D. Now you might have done some thinking about this and realized that this slightly pointy oval actually happens in some other letters too. And today we're going to do two of those, the letter G and the letter Q. These are both tail letters because they, instead of going up tall, like the letter D, they drop down underneath your line. Let's have a look. I'm going to start in exactly the same place, going around for my slightly pointy oval, up. I'm going to go down and keep going down to finish with a loop at the bottom. Have another look. Around, up, right down, and loop at the bottom. Q is a little bit different again. I'm going to start around, back up, down to the bottom, and flick. I'll do one more, anti-clockwise around, up to the beginning, straight down and flick. And for each of these letters, my pencil doesn't come off the page until I've finished the letter. We're gonna launch straight in now to our letter G's. Let's just take a moment to check that we're going to be writing them in the right place. The lines that we're using are these dotted ones here. The other line that you'll need to concentrate on is this solid line at the bottom. That's where your tail will finish. Let's have a look. So I'm going to start a little off center, anti-clockwise around, up to the top, down to the bottom and loop. Check in with your letters. If they're going right up here or overhanging the line, that's not what we're looking for. Try again. You don't need to rub it out. Just keep trying. Start back on that dotted line. Go around, back up, touch your pencil on that solid line at the bottom and finish off the loop. Keep going with that row. Now, if you're still going with that row, pause the video, take your time to do your best letters. But you might be ready to move on. When you are, come down to the next line. We're going to try our letter Q. Same anti-clockwise circle. I think they'll be going very well by now. Straight down to the bottom line and flick. Leaving a space between each of your letters. Your hand will get quite tired if you're squeezing them all in with no spaces. Take your time. Watch my pencil on the page. Make sure that your pencil is going in the same direction. That's how you can be sure that you're making these letters in the most efficient way. Keep going to the end of the line and press pause if you need more time. Next we're going to try a word which uses the letter G 
and A and D from our last video. So your next line will be the word garden. Let's begin with our letter G. Same shape for our letter A. Move on to a new letter, the letter R. We'll do that in a future video. Back to our anti-clockwise shape, up to that top line and finish for our letter D. And two other letters we haven't focused on, an E and an N. You might have known that the E had that same anti-clockwise finish. So I've changed colours there just to show you the letters that we're focusing on. You'll keep going with your lead pencil. And I think you'll fit that word onto that line three or four times. Pause the video if you need. Now here's a little reminder for anyone who might be doing this from stage two or higher, is that you can do your exit flicks with these letters. So G doesn't flick, it does something different, we'll learn about later. A has a flick, R has a wobble, D has a flick, E doesn't need a flick because it finishes with one and N has an exit flick. Now the last thing for us to do is to take a different coloured pencil, have a look across your letters and see which ones you're going to give a tick to. So I quite like that Q there that I've done. I'm having a look for which have the nicest pointy oval shape. I quite like that pointy oval shape. I don't know if it's my best loop at the bottom. Maybe this one here has a better loop at the bottom. And I really like the slope that I've used on this word here on garden. Do the same for yours. Give a tick to the letters or words that you think are your best. And if you've made it that far, you are all done. Thanks for joining in with handwriting today. Make sure that you leave your book for your teacher to see and stay tuned if you've got a little bit of extra time for some fun patterns at the end. See you in the next video. All right, thanks for staying with us. We're going to stay in the garden today and if you have a sharp coloured pencil, you might like to have that handy too for this first letter picture. So you are going to need to do the letter G. And we're going to turn it into a lovely flower. So imagining that the anti-clockwise pointy oval is the centre of your flower, let's add some petals. And my petals are also going in an anti-clockwise direction. And at the bottom, you might like to add some leaves. And if you have room, give it a smile. Our next letter picture is for the letter Q. And I'm sure you'll 
guess why in a minute. Once you've formed your lovely letter Q, we're going to add a little beak and an eye looking forwards to make a duck. Quack, quack, and have a great week.